Put your stuffed animal in here, baby.
Cheetos. The otters. Yes. Have these memories forever. Look at it! It's kicking its little feet. Earlier, one kicked off and made a backflip in the water. Look at them! They're adorable. All right, let's go see what else there is, girls. Go that way. Go that way. Come on, Boo Boo. There's stuff upstairs too. The otters are my favorite. Look at the otters. 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 We're back outside. It's such a nice day. No, I think we're inside. I don't know if we're outside or inside. Okay, we gotta go this way. Hey, look at this view. Look at that view. That's the part of the hotel. Yeah, it is. This. They look so soft. That waterfall is pretty. The otters look so soft. They're like slippery. Yeah. Why oh, you're so cute. Look, look at what. Look. Oh, there's one wind popped up over there. Oh, this is so cute. He's so I bet they go down there and slide into the water, huh? Michael, these are the otters. MJ, come here. Michael. I bet you because they like Water. They're doing flips and everything else. They're adorable. Can I have one? Give me your phone. In the backyard. Take a picture. I don't want to sing my neck because it's hurting right here. Gwen, what do you think? They're cool. <laughs> no, they're adorable. All right, girls, look at me. Audrey. Audrey, stand over here by Gwen. Well, here. It did it. The otters are over there having You're going to have to edit this video. That would be cool. Look at the otters. Look at the otters. Look at the otters. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? Let's go over here. Yeah. Oh, Mama, there's like sea stuff over there. Mama, look. Yeah, we gotta walk around, baby. I went swimming with stingrays once. Yeah? How was that? It was so cool, I held them. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you get to give them hugs. Oh. It's a horseshoe crab. Oh, what's right there? We're about to find out. What's... Oh, it's like you had to buy the so Here, girls, come on. What is it? 
They are part of the possum group of marsupials. So not all possums like we get here in North America. Possums are actually a separate group of Okay, let's, we'll go around and see. That's just like a weird thing. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go right here and look. Eventually they'll be harness trained and out of these pouches. Um, I know they're not the easiest to see in here, but you can kind of see with the pictures at least. Oh, they're so we're little. just taking the things nice and slow for them while they get used to coming out here. It can be kind of a walk coming out here. I mean, there's a lot of noise and things like that, lots of faces. So these pouches act kind of like a safety blanket. Like it's kind of like mom's pouch. So I have one in each pouch. So I have two on me right now, and then we have six in total. That way, animals can always decide if they want to come out or not. These two actually chose to come into these pouches because they know they get tasty treats out here. The other four decided they'd rather sleep instead. They are nocturnal, so they're usually sleeping during these hours. What are you feeding them? Are you, what are you feeding? So there's just one in each pouch. They have their own pouches. There's one in this one. Huh? Yep, he's just asleep. <laughs> what What are you feeding them? No, we can't feed them. Um, so they're getting nectar. It's one of the things they would eat in the wild. They do eat lots of sweet things like nectar as well as fruit. Um, they, however, only get this nectar when they come out here. It's kind of like a tasty treat for them. Um, that They know they get that tasty treat to come out here. No, we can't let people pet them. They're still getting used to coming out here. And they're kind of uh, still a little bit nervous about everything. They came from a breeder in Florida. Florida. So unfortunately, that is a big problem with these guys, is lots of people will breed them and sell them, saying they make good pets. These guys don't make great pets. They're a ton of work. Um, a lot of breeders will say they only live about two years. That's not the case. They can live up to 15 years. So it does take a lot of work to find a really reputable breeder to make sure they do a good job. We look at it over here. Probably, um, not even quite twice the size. A little bit bigger than this, but not a lot bigger. They'll reach that size pretty soon. They've already gained a lot of weight since they came here. <laughs> so he's just exploring. Um, I think a lot of it's looking for the nectar and trying to see where all he can go still in the pouch. Um, so that curiosity is a really great sign that he is getting comfortable out here. They really um, like this. He's really nervous about being out here and being kind of, you know, huddled up. Um, but then also this one for Sugar gliders. <laughs> Also another great sign that he feels comfortable to sleep out here. <laughs> no, um, that's where we present a lot of our other animals. So for instance, we have turtles come out here, various lizards, uh, things like that. Sometimes even our snakes get to explore in there. <laughs> um, so we'll eventually let them out here, um, but it's kind of a process of training them to get used to uh, harness training first. So we will actually put harnesses on these guys and teach them to be okay with that. Um, Come on. Yeah, but that's why they'd be on the harness, so that way they're attached to us. Because that way, um, if they were to ever get spooked by something, if there was like a loud noise, then they might go somewhere that wouldn't be safe for them. Um, so there are like a lot of fun here, so if you went outside and on the ground, that wouldn't be so good. Um, so even once they do come out, they will still be on harnesses for their safety. All right, girls, come on. This is a um, oh, that's, like, that's like what they have What's, I'm gonna go see what's behind y'all. Visible. But we just rip with all our animals up for rates while they're out. So we want to make sure that they enjoy coming out here. Oh, turtles. Most of these turtles are still are still pretty young. Even now we're the first time. Hey girls! There's turtles over here, a bunch. Forty years natural range, so these guys have a long way to grow, so especially this little guy. That's just like a picture. Look at 
That one. That one's huge. Ask if we can Are we allowed to touch them? We're not going to be touching the turtles today. Okay. No touching turtles. Gwen's like, then I want to go play with the water. We must go play with the water. They know where to go. Four different species of turtle in here. We have red-eared sliders, we have Cumberland sliders, we have yellow belly sliders, and we have false map turtles. Uh, Hey girls, hey girls, there's starfish over here that you can touch. Look at them, they act like they're four. I love it. I'm gonna go look at the starfish. Don't touch that. No, he's probably trying to eat little food particles off of them. That's what they do. Those are the shrimp that go in fish's mouths and eat food particles. They're like the dentists of the ocean. I touch that. So this is a pen mushroom kitchen. Really? Yes. And next to it is a chocolate chip sea star. Chocolate chips. They look like they have little chocolate chips on them. What's this one here? That is a common sea star. Okay. They feel different. I'm going to end this video. This is part two at the St. Louis Aquarium. Thanks for watching.